All right. This will probably be the last time we meet like this. Is everyone ready? Um, can I say something? I know that we have to defeat Nyx. But if you think about it, that means we'll be getting rid of the Dark Hour. So our memories may disappear. But even if that happens, I want you all to know, I won't forget you. Even if it robs us of all of our memories together, I will still remember you all. <laughs> we know you will, Yucatan. I won't forget you either. Neither will I. I will not forget you, Yukari-san. Don't worry. Even if you do forget about us, I'll remind you. Yeah, so don't worry about it. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. Okay. Then after the battle, no matter what happens, let's promise to meet each other again. Good idea, but where should we meet? I don't think it should be the dorm. We'll come back here anyways if all goes well. Hey, shouldn't we also decide on when we'll meet? Yeah, it should be a special day. What about graduation day? When the dark hour vanishes, our memories might not disappear right away. So we shouldn't plan to meet too soon after the battle. And there's no day that will have more significance to us all. Wow! You're really smart, Yukari-san. Graduation day. Yes, that will be easy to remember. Yeah, that's probably our best bet. Graduation day it is. Now, where should we meet? It should be somewhere where it's easy to recognize that peace has returned to the city. And when we meet again, we should remember how we're feeling right now. That no matter what may happen, we will never look back. I agree. <laughs> Sorry, but you'll just have to wait. All right, then. Let's get going. Yeah. Together. I will do my best. Good, because I'm counting on you. This is going to be easy. Yes, it is. So you do still have the option to save now. You can also leave and do any final shopping or preparations, but the police station will be closed. This is why I'd recommend making that final save in the daytime, not the nighttime. Is there anything on TV? Well, that's what we're fighting against. The only thing left to do is to head back and go to Tartarus. I think there's one thing that I want to do first, though. I think it should be... is it this one? Soon, it's all going to be over. Everything you fought for, we're going to win this. 
I know you'll be there watching us. As strange as this sounds priority-wise right now, I just want to show what happens if you try and examine the console. Yeah, probably not a good idea to watch those if we're not alone. Anyway, everyone has something to say here. And bring in Persona 5 mechanics. Oh, Ken's come so far. Mitsuru is the one you need to talk to get going, and I thought that I was speaking to Akihiko here, but uh, I guess I wasn't. Talking hitboxes can get a bit weird in this game sometimes. So, I think it's time. Once you select OK, there's no turning back, and the help menu pops up one last time, pretty sure this is the last time, to tell you that, as has been made very clear to us, we can't leave once we say I'm ready here. This will hopefully be the last ever dark hour. Let's go. So... As was made pretty clear, we can't leave now. But otherwise, this functions as a pretty normal visit to Tartarus, actually. In fact, Fuka doesn't actually say very much. Like, nothing different, I mean. In fact, not much has changed from how you go about your business here normally. You still have access to all the normal areas of Tartarus that you would. You have access to the Velvet Room. Not sure if Elizabeth or Igor have any special comments tonight. I I'll have to see. Nothing, it seems. So, this is your last chance to complete any requests that you still have. Provided they aren't time ones, because all of them will have expired by now. This is also not actually quite your last chance to fuse Personas. We actually do get a few chances to go back and save and change our party as we explore the final parts, so it's really not too critical that you, de that you deal with everything you need to at this point. But it can be useful just to get equipped here. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to change equip- Okay, firstly I'm going to give, I guess, our ultimate weapon. But then I'm going to change around my equipment on everyone, and I am going to not show you what armor that I'm giving everyone, except for Igus, whose made outfit I'll be taking off. Because I don't want to spoil who I'm going to bring to the final battle. So, see you back here in a moment. Okay, now it's time. So this is the party that I'm going with for the first of these fights, because yeah, there are going to be several fights. The easiest way to go about this is to warp up to 252, although there's still a little bit of area to wade through before we actually get to the real new stuff. So I'll probably skip to where we get to the barrier, basically. But everywhere else in Tartarus is still open to you, and also something that I should point out. All my sources say, you can't get tired tonight. So... If you somehow haven't completed Tartarus by now, you could theoretically go through the whole thing now if you wanted to. Because you have to reach the highest parts at this point in the game. And it looks like I might not even need to cut ahead. That was pretty lucky, actually. Seems like Tartarus wants us to move on. So, here we go. The first and last time we'll see a barricade becoming unobstructed in this style of area. It's gone. Let's just save the scenery for a moment. And... Keep going. Up to floor 255. The music here I'm pretty sure is the same. But hey, it looks like Tartarus does not follow binary numbers. It actually goes past 255. Of course it is. Let's end this. 
So there actually are a few fl extra floors here between us and Strega. The problem is the enemies here are pretty much... Is that actually better than what you currently have? Let me check. The enemies here, given that we've now been through Monard, and he is nice, are pretty much small fry. There's no reason to bother with them. I can just quickly show why. But they're basically all the enemies from the higher areas of... There's one enemy. That is not a Void Giant, thankfully. The higher areas of the Adama block. The enemy's weak against ice. So Only this used to be a pretty left. formidable opponent, but not anymore. Goodbye. Great battle. I should say that I am, having gone through Monard, obviously a bit over-leveled for this point in the game. But some of these boss fights are still going to be at least somewhat interesting. The enemies, though, definitely not. I am going to skip all the enemies here, and thankfully most of them are going to run from us, so it shouldn't be too hard to do that. In fact, I could probably just cut to floor 158, really, because there's just nothing worth showing in these areas. They're basically just filler until you get to the real action. I mean, it's obvious they're going to save one particular member of Strega for last, so I think we know who's coming up next. Well, a bit of extra money is nice, because it does carry over to a new game plus, so it might not be a bad idea to pick up a little bit of money. Or if you do get into battles, grab some money cards in shuffle time. Next floor. Won't be long now. There we go, here are the stairs. Now, once you get to the boss floors, as you'll soon notice, we have a warp point so we can go back in the save, and we can freely choose our party here. So, this should unlock the ability to warp back here. So if you want to save, you can, but I really don't feel like I need to. So, everyone has some unique lines to say here. Akiko's uh, got a good point there. But yeah, this place does look pretty cool. But anyway, once we head up these stairs... Actually, I haven't shown Fuka's line, I believe. They are, but we're stronger too. Much stronger. So, let's go. I think you all know who will be fighting first. Came after all. You? Where's your partner? Takaya went on ahead of me. He's destined for greater things. So, it looks like you're serious about fighting Nyx. How do you know about Nyx? I pieced together the information Ikutsuki left behind. But not all of it made sense. He was a real nut job. Did you know Ikutsuki? We were surprised to find out he was your boss. We really only knew his name. He was just one of the researchers who created us. He created you? Who are you? <laughs> There's no use in telling you. The end is near. We don't have time for this. Get out of our way. Can't do that, little lady. There's no way you'll be able to stop Nyx. But I can't let you interfere with Takaya's wish. The fact that you're trying to stop us betrays the fact that... I think you af you're afraid we can. Do 
you even understand what you're saying? If Nyx isn't stopped, all life will be destroyed. Exactly. We won't live much longer, and we want to see the end before we die. That is Takaya's wish, so I'm not backing down. Enough talk. Let's do this. Yes, let's. It's time for the final battle with Jin. I ain't holding back. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. So what party setup you use and what items you have equipped doesn't really matter here. Jin will very kindly announce the main gimmick of this fight pretty soon. Who am I going to go for here? I wonder if I should save the big guns for the very end. Let's just switch to Thanatos for a moment. Hopefully I get to show off Igus' weapon. I don't think I've actually had Thanatos use Brave Blade before. Jin does have quite a lot of HP to eat through. Even with how powerful we are, he still is not a complete pushover. So yeah, there's Igus' ultimate gun. It looks pretty awesome, although it kind of reminds me of something from Kid Icarus Uprising. You're tough? I won't lose this time. <laughs> Whoa, language, for anyone who watches Maryland streams. Anyway. Let us strike while the iron's hot. Kind of funny that we get we're getting a quote from the boss and then this. I'm gonna say no. Remember how I said that Jin isn't a pushover? He is if you go for an all-out attack. For Understood. some reason, the Strega members are severely allergic to all-out attacks. Especially with the weapons that we have at this point it's in the game. For some reason, they take like 8,000 damage, which is more than enough to one-shot them. Anyway, Jin has pretty much every element, so you'll see what that means when he actually gets his turn, which I'm basically letting him at this point. I could just completely wreck him, but... No, I ain't finished yet. Come on! I want to show more of his dialogue. I've improved since our last fight. You can't hide your weaknesses from me. So his main gimmick is using various magical attacks to hit your weaknesses. He actually does have another line there. Sometimes he'll actually, uh... You know, let me just check. Thanatos is in fact weak to that, so that was pretty lucky. So his AI does have a bit of a bias for targeting weaknesses. If you're using items that block the weaknesses, he actually will comment on that, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure if I'll get him to show it, though. He basically says, huh, you know what, I wonder if I use Infinity, maybe he will comment on that. Let's just try that. Basically, he says, are you too afraid to face your weaknesses? But, yeah. I'm pretty sure he's the only one who's afraid at this point. Especially considering that I'm basically just toying with him now. He's pretty much done, and there's really nothing that he can do. Persona! At least we're getting to see Igus be awesome here. Damn it. It ends here. All we have to say? Mahama, not Mahamon, really? I expected so much more from you. I don't know if I ever mentioned it. Oh, okay, he didn't actually say anything there. Don't know if I mentioned it the first time, but Moros, I, I think that I may have said this before. The symbolism behind Moros, well, for one, it only has a left arm, symbolizing the fact that Jin is left-handed, but also the fact that its head is a spinning top, which represents the inevitability of death that Strega faces. And everyone faces, but for Strega, it's uh, much sooner. The fact that top will eventually stop. Also fits with Moros being the personification of Doom in Greek mythology. I'm, in fact, now that I mention that, I know I've said that before. Oh, if that finished him off, it would be amazing. Koromaru, you want to do it? Come on, Koromaru. Nice one! So, yeah, that fight is really not all that hard. Pay attention to the amount of experience points Straker gives us. It'll be important later. I failed. <sighs> Whoa.
What are you waiting for? Finish me off! I would do anything for Takaya. Why are you so loyal to him? <laughs> he wouldn't understand. Takaya showed me the light when I was in the darkness. It was a long time ago. In order to better understand the dark hour, Kurijo rounded up kids that were living on the streets and gave them special powers so they could investigate Tartarus. What? But when that power doesn't emerge naturally, it's difficult to control. So the kids had to take experimental medication so their powers wouldn't kill them. Only three kids out of the original hundred survived. And after six months, the experiment was canceled. Then those three were... You all suffered at the hands of Kurijo. Ikutsuki was in on this too, as he is revealed in some spin-offs. Takaya saved me from it all. He said, don't let the past control you, and don't look to the future. Simply live in the moment. To be honest, I don't even care about Kurijo anymore. But... Takaya's wish must be fulfilled. You guys really are insane, even if it means the death of everyone else on the planet. You. We were here too long. We're running out of time. We have to go now. But we can't... You idiots! I don't want your pity! <sighs> I won't let you eat me! I believe in you, Takaya. Fulfill your wish. I will hold on to the freedom you gave me to the very end. Hey, was that... We gave him a chance. He could have come with us, but he refused. Did he? Let's go. Well, that's one member gone. Now, even though it looks like this is a new area... to get new quotes from everyone. I'm sure Akiko was talking to Strega there. That's a good point, though. He could have come with us and not wasted it. I mean... Also, he could have not wasted his life following Takaya. So this actually is the same floor as we had the warp on. If you go down these stairs, it's not immediately obvious, but we can actually warp back and save now, or go to the Velvet Room if you want to. We also have the chance to switch up our party now, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Going to put Akihiko in. And I am also going to put in Ken. I think you know why I'm doing this. Uh, sorry, Mitsuru. Not that you aren't amazing, but uh, let's keep moving on. Like, as much as Jin was an idiot for following Takaya, part of me still feels bad for the fact that just the one person who showed him respect just happened to be someone who would lead him that far astray. It is pretty sad when you think about it. Also, the fact that Straker were the remnants of experiments carried out by Kirijo. 
As if Mitsuru's grandfather wasn't evil enough, then you find out he did that. Mitsuru was also one of the uh, people who was experimented on and given a persona, but uh, she turned out a lot more positively. Possibly because she had better influences on her life, in fact, definitely. See, that's just the thing with Jin. If, if only... If Jin had found better influences, then maybe he wouldn't have turned out the way he did. We're almost there. And once again, these floors are pretty uneventful. The enemies here haven't changed at all. Kaya's only in one more floor. Floor 162. And so here we are. And this place is even more awesome looking. Anyway, once again, we've got more dialogue here. Our last battle with Strager. That is true, I mean, we know what happens if you don't think clearly. And Mitsuru's definitely right. It's time to end this with Strager. Yeah, Akihiko just has to be in this party. There's no way you can do this without him. And can. So, for reasons I'm actually going to save now. Okay, once we hit up these stairs, we'll begin our final battle with Takaya. This has been a long time coming. Takaya, we are going to kick your ass, and we are going to enjoy every second of it. Except wait, behave rationally, according to I guess. Just gotta remember rationally. It's really hard around this guy, though. You have to admit, it's very, very hard. Is the top of Tartarus past here? Indeed. Then let us through. I am not standing in your way. I take it you have defeated Jin. You were quite troublesome. He was... You were his only friend, and you don't care that he's dead. Seriously, words cannot describe my anger in this guy. What is it that you seek? These are your final moments. The end is nigh. Sorry. But we're not gonna let that happen. You are merely wasting your energy. Why not celebrate this wonderful moment? What better way could you spend your final moments together? Will you shut up already? My life was stolen from me. And in its place, I was given a power I never asked for. And so, I learned that the future is only a delusion. Only by striving to live every moment to its fullest can the soul truly be satisfied. That is why we welcome this glorious revelation. To shine a light upon this darkened world. You're so full of shit! I'm not dying so you can have a friggin' nightlight! Junpei says what we're all thinking. This is not merely my desire. There are many who have also gathered to rejoice in her arrival. Yeah, because you started a cult around her. That's just because all these weird things have been happening. That is untrue. Who is responsible for reviving Nyx? Can a single person boast of this great accomplishment? Sudden flashbacks to the intro of Symphony of the Night. You all work tirelessly to prevent it, and yet in doing so, you unwittingly aided in her coming. Well, that was only because we were manipulated by Akutsuki. So you see, this is not just my will. It is the will of all 
people. See the people standing in front of you? We don't believe the world should be destroyed, so clearly that's wrong. Man cannot face death without first finding meaning in life. Well, I mean, that is kind of true, admittedly. But the world has realized that any meaning in life was lost long ago. That we're gonna prove wrong. Nyx has come because humanity has cried out for her salvation. That can't be. I... I don't believe you. And yet, there is truth in what he says. I guess. But now we know that it was a mistake. And that's why we're here. It's not a matter of whether it is possible or not. It's a matter of believing in ourselves. That's what it means to live. The world isn't so simple that one person can decide whether we all live or we all die. So even if there is no hope, we won't give up. What? <laughs> what do you know of this world? No, you sound like pages from a self-help book come back. Yeah, you are really pathetic. No matter how long you search, or how hard you pray, eventually you will realize that there is no truth. Just as death is eternal, a truth that has been lost can never be found again. Are you really so desperate to die that you will stand before the Almighty Nyx? Such foolishness is what I am trying to rid this world of. If you insist on asserting your way of living, then I shall do the same. The coming of Nyx is but moments away. <laughs> Got to admit, his voice actor must have had a lot of fun at the end of that speech. But it is time for the final battle. It's been a long time coming, let's do this. Takaya is going down. That background is amazing. You needn't hurry. The moment we await is predestined. It's only a matter of time. Please be careful. I sense even greater power than before. He's still nothing compared to us, though. So, let's just go for the scan. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Takaya is pretty much exactly the same as Jin in the way that he fights here. He's still a complete idiot for keeping a revolver in his pants, but then again, he's a complete idiot when it comes to everything, so that's to be expected. Anyway, I'm just gonna do what I did there, let him show off some of his dialogue, basically. I would like to see what a Mind Charge Morningstar does to him, though, but uh, yeah, let's just go for a Mind Charge here and see how much we can do. And yes, I love using this party for this fight. Thankfully, unlike Jin, Takaya is not immune to fire, so Koromaru can use that against him. Akiko, however, it seem like darkness will work. simply punches him in the face, which is totally deserved. And so, yeah, Takaya is pretty similar to Jin. He has basically every element, that's pretty much it. But he's got no elemental immunities other than the standard light and dark, so in some ways, he's actually a bit easier. Salvation! Draws near. Nice draw. <laughs> oh yeah, you uh, completely failed at everything. Okay, so huh. I'm just gonna go for regular Bulfenine. I'm I'm worried that Morning Star is gonna do way too much. Actually, probably shouldn't have been worried. Even as I speak, I can feel it. The end of everything. I pity those who cannot see it for what it truly is. A blessing. Please shut up. Yes, we get it. You found no meaning in life, but that doesn't mean you have to drag everyone else down with you. You know, I just realized that switching to... Pfft, wow, you are completely stupid. Then switching to Thanatos might be thematically appropriate here because Thanatos is Hypnos' brother from mythology. Okay. As hilarious as it would be to do that, it's not gonna work. 
So we'll just see how much Mikadola does. Let's take a moment to appreciate the fact that he hasn't done any damage yet. I kind of feel like Koromara might be doing more with physical attacks, though. We are mere mortals. We cannot change our fate. You would be foolish to deny it. That's true, but that doesn't mean that life is pointless. Oh, he actually hit us. That's annoying. Anyway, let's go for Brave Bredo! Actually, a pretty nice amount of damage. I still like this music, though. Of course, uh, in a new game plus, I'm going to be hearing this a lot. It's a bonus boss. Seems we are destined to be in opposition. How can you summon such power, even in the face of death? You're missing the point. It's because we're in the face of death that we can summon such power. Okay, this is perfect. This is perfect. This is perfect. This is perfect. Here's our chance. Let's do it. Let's also take a moment to appreciate that his knockdown pose is pretty much Dr. Wily begging. It's kind of ridiculous like that. Yeah, let's do this. He deserves it. He's pretty much finished anyway. Appreciate the ridiculous amount of damage this does. Yeah. Death is but a blessing. Oh, please shut up. Anyway, once again, around late 8,000 to 9,000 experience. This is, uh, there's a reason for this. And <laughs> one more level up for good measure. Oh wow, someone inside us level up. Is that Thanos for us? Hey! That's perfect! <laughs> kind of funny that the bringer of death leveled up from fighting someone who welcomes death. I have failed, haven't I? There is nothing more I can do now. Kill me. Are you scared? <laughs> what a peculiar question. You know nothing of death if you think that it is something to fear. What do you mean? You fear it because you do not understand it. I will not explain to you any further. There's no honor in taking the life of someone who can't move. Besides... You want death. Not giving it to you is, in some ways, the ultimate punishment. You will live to see if what you wished for comes true or not. Yeah. Lie there and repent for what you've done. <laughs> you are all so odd. We're finally here. Up ahead is the top of Tartarus, the promised place Ryoji spoke of. Let's regroup for the final battle. Oh man, I am feeling so hyped for this. We're here. Just up the stairs is the final battle. Also, we can just examine Takai here. <laughs> He's just hanging there unconscious. So, we can now talk to everyone, just to get their final thoughts on matters. He's more machine than you are. Far more. I suppose one last status check should be in order. From here, though, you might have a pretty good idea of who I might be bringing to the final battle. I 
I will say though, just a fair warning. I am very over leveled for this fight, obviously. You're supposed to go into this fight at about level 75, 76 ish. If you do, however, this fight is incredibly infamous. This is considered one of the hardest final boss fights possibly in any RPG. I'm going to make it look easy because I had to grind to get all of the ultimate personas and things like that. I wanted to show everything and there was no way I was going into this fight without Messiah and Orpheus Telos. But just a fair warning, I am going to make this look easy. Don't be fooled though. If you go into this fight at the level that you're recommended to go into it at, this is incredibly difficult. When they say that Nick is unbeatable, they really aren't exaggerating. This is a very, very tough fight. So, you'll see my approach next time, but first, I totally didn't forget about this before, I promised that I'd finally use all of my stat boosting cards. So, let's go ahead and do that then. If I can find them. Ah, oh, here they are, okay. Sword of Queen, plus two luck, plus three strength. Who wants that? Okay, let's go for... I have, I have five of these? Okay then, I'll probably give a lot of these out. Sword of King, strength plus four, luck plus two. You can probably notice a pattern here, actually. Cup of Queen, luck plus two, endurance plus three. Okay, that's going on Halu Lart. And I guess Orpheus Telos. I probably will have to remake Orpheus Telos, so I might not want to waste some of these on him. Cup of King. Let's go Messiah, Hallel. I've got a lot of these, actually. Metatron, I guess. Halu Lart. Wand of Queen, Magic plus three. Uh, let's go for Messiah. Wand of King, Magic plus four. Point of Night, Agility plus two. Okay, let's go for Shiva. Let's go for you. Let's go for I'm focusing a lot of these on Messiah because I'm probably not going to refuse Messiah. So these stat boosts are actually really going to matter. Shiva, maybe. And I guess Hallel. Okay, that was all my cards. So let's see how our stats are looking. Yeah, that's a lot of strength and agility, definitely. The main reason I have called you, I explained this before, is for Summer Car, because that actually might be useful in this fight. Yeah, seriously, look at Office Telos, that's amazing. This is with the plus 10 to all stats, by the way. Now, I am obviously going to go and save and register all of these personas because they actually will carry over the new game plus. Remember that if you want to go back and save, and it is very, very highly recommended that you save now, obviously. This is your last chance before the final boss. I'm going to go and register these personas, but I'm also going to show a little bit of extra footage. People in the comments requested something. And that is why I made a save earlier. So I'm going to show what I requested. It's something that has been very much deserved. You needn't hurry. It... Please be. Hey, Takaya. You wanted the end of the world? Well, be careful what you wish for! Yeah, that's pretty satisfying.